Hi, this is Craig Stocks here for Utah Desert Remote Observatories. You can find us online at utahdesertremote.com. And I want to talk about dealing with the uh, smudges that you get when you do star removal. Uh, I notice it in particular, uh, I've been using Star Exterminator, which does a great job for me, but it does leave smudges around some of the brighter stars. And I want to show you a, a quick, easy way to deal with that in Photoshop. So if you're using Photoshop for some or all of your astro processing, this tip may help you out. So this is the image that I'm going to use as an example. And this is one I just imaged last night, so it's uh, fairly fresh. And this is done in the uh, OHS color palette, where oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur were color mapped to red, green, and blue. It's not a very natural color, uh, but I like the way the green and cyan really pop uh, and they're both perceived as fairly bright colors, so it's easy to see a lot of the structure and detail in the gas. But if you look especially around the brighter stars when I do star removal, it leaves some smudges. So let's hop into Photoshop, and I'll show you an easy way to deal with it. So here's the image in Photoshop, and if we zoom in around this particular bright star, is a good place to see it. And if you're familiar with my workflow, I keep everything on separate layers. So at the bottom of the layer stack over here on the right-hand side, the lower right-hand side, you can see the hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. And those layer groups are each color mapped to an individual color. So hydrogen is mapped to green, oxygen is mapped to red, and sulfur is mapped to blue. And then with some other adjustments in there to fine-tune the curves and hue saturation and levels. Um, and then at the top, I have the stars as a group, and I remove the stars from each one of the layers individually, and this kind of a workflow lets me turn stars on and off, and especially when I turn the stars off. You can see the uh, star exterminator left a, uh, you know, quite a smudge right, uh, right where the star is supposed to be or where the star was. The easy way to fix this, if you look at the image, what's missing is the noise that's in the surrounding nebula. And generally, I don't want to change the color or the texture or anything underlying it. I just want to hide the smudge. And the way we would do that is to add noise just to this area. So I'll show you an easy way to add noise. The first thing I want to do is just add a blank layer, which I can do from the second from the right icon on the layers palette. That'll add a blank layer. And then I want to fill that layer with 50% gray. Uh, I can use the keyboard shortcut Shift Backspace. That'll bring up a dialog box where for the fill I could choose black, white, specific color pattern. Uh, in this case I want to choose 50% gray and click OK. And the reason we use 50% gray is if I put the, this layer's blending mode into either soft light or overlay, uh, we'll use soft light, it completely disappears. Anything that's 50% gray doesn't have any effect on the image. Anything that's brighter than 50% gray will lighten it. Anything darker will darken it. So we can simply add noise now to this what's essentially a blank layer, the, a 50% gray layer. So I can go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And basically you want to experiment and find a noise percent value that more or less matches the surrounding area. Uh, we could maybe turn this down. But I find somewhere in the 30-ish you know, range usually is a pretty good balance and just click OK. And what that's done is just add noise to the whole image, which is not what we want. So I'm going to add a layer mask by going to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All, and that will add a layer mask. You can see the layer mask popped in as pure black. So everything on this layer now is hidden. So in order to reveal that noise, I'll paint white onto the mask. So I'll grab the brush tool, make it a little bit larger, and somewhere in the 50 to 100 percent range, if we just paint with white, we're adding noise just to that area. And you'll see if I turn the stars back on, 
We haven't affected the stars because they're on top of this layer. We haven't affected the underlying structure or color of anything. All we've done is hide that smudge with noise that matches the rest of the image. And in fact, if we pan around on the image, we'll find other areas. This red area where we had a lot of oxygen around this star also has a, a smudge. I can make the brush smaller. Since we're not changing color, all we're doing is adding noise. It doesn't really affect any of the underlying, let's say, structure or color. It just helps that smudge disappear. And you'll, if you really look around, you'll start finding more and more of these smudges around the brighter stars. Uh, just touch them with the brush, paint a little bit of white on that mask to reveal the noise. And as easy as that, the smudges are gone. So that's my tip for the day. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out. If you find videos like this helpful, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll keep producing more videos that uh, will help you along. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day today and an even better night tonight under a clear sky. Thanks.